Hello. Some time ago, I was uh, taking apart some portable radio Panasonic uh, CD tape recorder, and I found quite nice uh, mechanics inside in the tape mechanics. And then I forget about this, uh, but the Techmoon, you know that guy, uh, he showed a perfect video where he is comparing some tape mechanics. So I was thinking, uh, this is not such a bad idea to create a video about. So I would like to share with you uh, this uh, automatic mechanic, which I have found in this uh, Panasonic RX-ES25 uh, cassette player. Uh, this CD radio uh, tape uh, player uh, has uh, many variants uh, from ES20 to ES29 and probably the higher number the more features you will get so you can get a CD read write compact disc uh, player you can get MP3 and most probably you can also get automatic uh, tape side switching so but my uh, player has only fast forward rewind play and record and it also had electronic uh, cassette door opening. And I was thinking that uh, in this mechanics there must be like uh, many solenoids, maybe one or two motors, uh, but I was really wrong because uh, everything this has is a single programming wheel. So let's take a look at it. And here you can really see it. Uh, this motor uh, was attached so I can show you how it's a rotating thing and working. Uh, this is pretty variable mechanics uh, because uh, it has uh, some switches and it has also uh, some mechanical switches like here. And the electronics uh, knows the state the cassette is in. Uh, maybe I, I should start uh, what what uh, the mechanic, the electromechanics is. So there's only a single motor and this single solenoid which does all the work and based on the position of this programming wheel and whether this solenoid is uh, magnetic or not then this lever is taking uh, different paths and it's changing completely uh, the stages uh, of uh, the playback recording or rewinding the cassette. So let's take a look uh, how it works. First I was thinking that uh, I will take uh, advantage of uh, this, uh, this switch and I will write some uh, firmware for microcontroller to control this uh, but uh, I was too lazy so I will show it uh, just uh, hand operated and I will go through all the modes. Uh, the interesting thing is that uh, sometimes uh, there are modes which uh, are, makes no sense. Uh, for example, uh, this seems like it's recording because the ear sync head is down. But this is actually uh, playing the other side because it's quite variable. You can, uh, in, in a factory, they can replace this uh, with another this friction valve. Uh, you can see there's a hole for another shaft and you can basically play the other side uh, of the tape. So, so it's really flexible and some uh, combinations doesn't uh, make sense uh, for these mechanics, but for the higher model it makes perfectly sense. So let's take a look uh, how, how it works when I apply some power. So we are running. Let's, let's try. It's uh, really quick uh, and I'm not uh, able to uh, move this fast enough. So uh, I, will, I will not be able to react uh, fast enough to stay in some mode. So I will just show you what modes I can get. For example, this is, uh, I guess, playback and it is because now I, I moved that okay so again all right so now this is not a playback this is a recording because also the ear sync head is down This is some uh, fast forward 
And you know, if I would be lucky enough. And this mode is really interesting because it uh, really it really doesn't make any sense because uh, it's playing the other side. So I would say that uh, this uh, this mode is not uh, for this uh, type of cassette deck, but the programming wheel is the same across uh, all the models. So this is rewind. You can also see that there is some sensor, reflective sensor, so it can sense uh, the speed of rotating shaft. So my guess is that uh, when when it stops, then the electronics will yeah. When I when I hold it, then the electronic will stop uh, this mode. And the last thing is opening the doors. So when I hold, it, hold this solenoid long enough, then this will unlock uh, the doors. See. So now this is fast forward. This is uh, idle. This is uh, recording because the record head is down. This is playing. Record head is up. And this is re rewind. And this is uh, one of the modes which doesn't make uh, sense much because uh, this shaft is spinning ra really fast, like fast forwarding, but this record head is down. Yeah, so uh, I don't know what's, uh, what's this uh, about because it's some kind of uh, fast erasing or what. So now I will stop the motor and turn it by hand, so it's easier to see how the programming wheels rotate. And now this is interesting part because uh, if I, sorry, if I keep rotating without the solenoid uh, energized, the lever will fall off, but if I will hold this and rotate it, then the lever will catch this notch and will go right. And it stops here. See, it's going down, but when I hold the solenoid, it stays and goes up. Now it's doing something, something else. Yeah, like that fast forwarding with a erase head down. Not sure. All right, that's all. I just uh, found this mechanics really interesting and wanted to share it with you. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.